Ava, Ava Wolfkist, is that you? Do I know you? You were too young to remember me, but I stayed with your household many years ago. This is for you. The mead horn of Suttunger. How is this possible? Can you conjure things from dreams? Yes, it's only a model. I fashioned it from a story told to me by your father, but since he's dead, I offer it to you. It is exactly like I saw it. In my head. As Varen described it to me. Have you made other things from stories? Only if the storyteller is very good. Your father was. He would have made a good scald. Could you do it from dreams or visions? Bring something into this world from another? Not all dreamers speak, and fewer yet speak clearly. Seers talk too much and cloud your vision with... What's this about bringing things into this world from another? Mm, more like uh, imagining it into our world. When I have the image, its design speaks to me in a language I do not know, and yet understand. This is Suttunger's meat on Valka, from Jotunheim, as Varen described it to him. I do not like this business of trafficking in visions. But if it revives good memories of your father, there may be value in it. I will bring you a potion that will let Eivor dream and speak clearly. If you take advantage, your death will be painful. Nah, you need not go to so much trouble. You could give me the recipe. I will bring you a potion. Do not dig too deeply. We do not know the true cost of this. There'll be no cost to the gods. You heard him. He does not take things from their realms. He imagines them, then crafts them. Not the cost to the gods. To you. I will get the workshop ready. Come by when you want to get started. You'll be safe in my care. Valka has promised that any harm you suffer will be visited upon me tenfold. She is protective of her people. But I must exact a promise from you. You must not speak of this to anyone. Whatever happens. I swear upon my life. I will not speak of this to any but you.
When you're near, dear Raven, my memory's sharp. My aim unleveled. Down there, in Niflheim, things are less clear. You know I cannot take you. I can barely get myself through the warding wall, and only then by abandoning my trusted weapons. Do not sulk. I will not rescue. For who then would remind me of my purpose? Yes, Balder, my son, the light of the world, locked away in Hellstar Castle. It was taken too soon, stolen from us. I shall not rest till I have denied destiny and brought Balder back from the dead. You're right, Munin. If it is to be done, best it were done quickly. It is time to go to hell. Riches are doubly defended. I must kill the guards before disarming the shield. Longer, 
I'll not take a drink at this time, lest it model my purpose. King of Thieves welcomes all who wish to bargain fairly and freely. Can I expect fair treatment from one holding so dubious a title? I was once a common thief. Fighting over scraps, picking corpses clean of all that could be bartered or sold. But now, as their sovereign, the rogues of Niflheim trust me with their traffic. And you may do the same. I may offer trade. My trust is not easily earned. Fine by me. I'm not looking to make friends. Only deals. Are you interested? Show me your stock. me, Queen of the Shamed. Or better yet, give me back my son and I shall leave you in peace. I can shape dead flesh into new life. Summon an army with a whisper. What makes you think you still have power over me? Then why would you not show your true self? What is it you fear? My fear is beyond your imagining. Your fear, however, is well known among the dead.
<laughs> Welcome, Wanderer, to the home of Danny the Dead One. To my shame, I can't offer better hospitality. My enemy got here first. I'm not that Wanderer. I am but a simple traveler. <laughs> Save it, Harvey. I get around. At least, I, I used to before Durf took over my foundry, locked up my men, and cut down my ropes. Ropes? When I ran the foundry, I had rope lines strung all over Duckerland. That's how I moved parts so quickly, see? Ropes. Sounds like quite an operation. Like you were building an army. <laughs> I could supply a hundred armies. But what does that matter now that Durf and his paid muspils have taken everything? Are any of these rope lines of yours still usable? Not many. But if someone were to free my men, we could string them back up and get you across Duckerland in no time. Seems like a reasonable bargain. Where are your men imprisoned? Locked inside the foundry. There are two sets of keys, each carried by a muspel. So, if I retrieve the keys from the muspels, free your men, you'll repair the rope lines. <laughs> if you free my crew, I'll take back the foundry and... By Durin, we'll tie more knots than the Nornir! Yeah! Ah. 
An offer. Will the result be any different? <laughs> that looks like a warrior of rank. Perhaps he carries some prize on his person.